so excited to have you. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about who you are and your company and your mission. I'm Deborah Teschler, as you know. I started Graphica 26 years ago. We're an integrated digital, traditional, and direct marketing agency. And our mission has always been to help our customers realize the full revenue potential of their consumers throughout their life cycle, whether they're acquiring them or retaining them, cross-selling, upselling, or winning them back. I think the future trend and the irony of it is when we began direct marketing 26 years ago, it was all based on database marketing. Mm -hmm. And what the internet did was to catapult database marketing eons ahead mm -hmm. because of the technology and the time it takes to process the information. So basically what I mean by that is when we retrieve data back from our communications, whether it's a mobile message or an email message or a direct marketing business response card or 800 number call we're getting information from our customers mm -hmm. and that information helps us to market smarter and more effectively to them so deborah was it always your plan to be an entrepreneur um, it wasn't that i thought i would be a woman entrepreneur but that leadership was instilled in me from a young age and actually i had worked with my previous employer who we didn't have the same philosophy and how our clients should be treated. Okay. And it was really that, that I went home one night and said, I'd rather flip hamburgers than do this. Okay. And I had the idea to start my own agency. I define leadership by having a very strong work ethic, having to make, have the faith, the courage and the energy to make the tough decisions and also by continually learning. I always subscribe to Darwin's theory of evolution, I guess, and that if you don't evolve, you become extinct. Right. So I believe the key to developing and innovating at Graphica is really to keep on top of all the trends and all the competitive information that's out there. I think it's key that we teach our, whether they're our daughters or our sisters or our cousins or friends or family, any young woman that anything that they decide that they want to do, they can do it. It's in their purview if they're willing to work hard enough and have a strong faith in that if you do things right, you're going to succeed. Faith is really important that if you believe you're doing the right thing and making the right decisions and if you can put your head on that pillow at night and go to sleep, that that's the kind of courage you need for the road that's ahead. Hi, my name is Linda Welbrock and I am the founder of the Leading Women Entrepreneurs Initiative. Congratulations once again to the top 25 leading women entrepreneurs. This initiative has been incredibly exciting and inspiring. The list of finalists are made up of 150 women. Their estimated combined revenue generation is over $1 billion. They are employing over 10,000 people and they are supporting over 1,800 nonprofits. The impact that these women have had on our state and local communities is absolutely outstanding. The criteria that the women entrepreneurs were judged on include innovation, market potential, advocacy for women, and community involvement. It is my mission to raise awareness for these outstanding leaders and present them as role models to future women entrepreneurs and to the future generation of young girls who are looking for options for their own careers. I believe if we work together and use the power of the media to present these women as icons and as role models, that we can make a cultural shift in today's society. We are opening the nomination process for 2013. If you know a leading women entrepreneur in your community, you can send the nominations to me at Linda at Leading Women Entrepreneurs or visit my website for further details. Again, I look forward to seeing you and meeting you in 2013.